Let's lay up a wing joiner. This is what we're after. Um, this is a duplicate. The original is actually broken. But what we're looking for is um, that sort of that sort of integrity. Uh, here's a commercial one. This is a Pike Precision. It's even better. Um, so this joiner has got holes for ballast. Whereas the homegrown one is solid. Here's the filler. It's um, medium grain balsa um, with the grain vertical and sanded, doped and sanded to, with 400 grit um, so the resin doesn't seep in and equally the resin um, isn't drawn away from the fabric because of uh, diffusion so this is a good core so we've got our bolster core doped and sanded with 400 grit um, ready to go and dimensionally it's not perfect but it's good enough um, there's a bit of tolerance in making these sorts of things probably the only tolerance um, or the intolerance is the precision of the the depth of the joiner, the width of the joiner, the dimensions, the major dimensions. This mould is full of scars and blobs and holes, but where it counts on the top surface and the scythe with the aluminium, uh, they're all top notch and they're all waxed, ready to go. Waxed a couple of times, dried off, waxed a couple of times, ready for the layup. And the layup is 10, 10 of these. So they're already pre cut using. a roller cutter so any fabric rotary cutter um, and this is i think from memory four ounce and 12k there's a sock involved so this is this is key um, you want to have one of these socks and this is uh this is thick fabric i reckon it's probably 200 gram or six ounce and that's going to be cut to length probably about that length to f and this will go inside it and then simply fabric on top of the sock and underneath the sock. Nothing on the sides. It's just going to be resin. Doesn't need too much um, reinforcement on the sides. It's really all about um, the top and the bottom fabrics. And the sock around here is enough to give us twist resistance. Because if you look at the, the fabric, the fabric in this is a mix of bias fabric. So it's really good at torsional resistance, twist resistance. And it's important to recycle and reuse. This is a highly recommended Tally's Muscles from New Zealand. Lovely stuff. There's an epoxy mixing bowl. They're really good because it's got serrations or indents down the bottom which help to mix the epoxy. And you can easily crack out old resin from the bottom and reuse it. This thing's been reused a couple of times. You just have to scrape off any debris. Make sure, make sure there's nothing floating around inside. And you can use it, well, indefinitely really. And resin, um, it's nothing special. West Systems 105 and 206, slow hardener, works fine. And for this joiner, oh look, conservatively 70 grams, although you probably only use about 50 of it, and mix to 1 to 5 ratio. So 10 grams of that, and, and top this up to a total of 60 grams to give you 1 to 5 ratio. And a bit of colorant doesn't need much um, because if you don't have colorant um, you end up with clear patches in in uh, the layup because there's going to be voids it's not this isn't terribly precise it's precise enough okay so a little bit of color gets rid of any clear patches in the layup and with the sock it's important to pull the sock ends um, to get the sock to constrict to the dimensions of the, uh, the balsa inner. So six of these on the top, which is that surface. This is a messy stage, so get yourself some of these. Some of these surgical gloves, and you'll need a roller. Makes life a lot easier. And wax the surface as well, so you can reuse it. And brush in resin 
in the corners to start this resin um, flows it's not as viscous as it could be so pays to get in the corners and slightly up the sides as well on the surfaces top and bottom as well I need a bigger brush here's a tip I need to flip these over just use a bit of mylar and it reduces stress on the fabric tease one end these need to be flipped over and rolled on the opposite side they need to be fully saturated toes so once the layup's all in there stick a car battery on top some weight and stick a couple of clamps around the ends because you know it will splay under that weight so just um, stick a couple of quick grips around there um, and leave it for 24 hours to cure.